Hey y'all, welcome back to another neighborhood tour. I'm over here in Prairie Oaks touring a Sandalin Home Silverstone model that's a four bed, three and a half to five full baths, two car to three car garage, over 3,200 square feet, priced at 600 to $700,000 within this community. Walking in the eight foot front door, over to the left, we're greeted by the dining room and the office space currently that it's kind of staged in. You have double doors that kind of add a little bit of privacy. And then walking back out to the foyer, over to the right is the sales agent office, but that is the area for the two car or three car garage. And then walking over into the kitchen area, we see the stained furniture finished cabinets, cabinet drawers with full extension features, granite countertops, tiled backsplash, and surface mount LED lighting. You also get the option of having the microwave stacked on top of the oven. And then walking into the nook area this is where your kitchen table area could be over to the left are some windows as well as on top there are also windows to add a little bit more extra lighting also looking around you can kind of see the upstairs and the overlook and the railing that the silverstone is popular for Walking into the great room, you have the option of having 10 to 12 foot vaulted ceilings. For this build, the ceiling kind of slopes towards the backside, so that might be a hit or miss with some of you guys. For the fireplace, you have the option to surround it with tile and to custom paint it as well. And then here are some more windows over to the left, looking out towards the backyard. And then walking out towards the backyard, you do have a little bit of a patio. This is gonna be about a 12 by eight foot space. And then this is gonna be about the size of the standard backyard within this community. This is gonna be on about 60 by 130 lots. And then walking back into the great room, Walking over now to the powder room that's located in the hallway that would lead also to the garage on the right side would be the garage area. And then here's the powdered bathroom. Making sure the GoPro is still recording, it is all good. And now we're gonna head over to the owner's suite. But first showing you guys a little bit of the utility room. Also could be kind of where you keep the dog stuff in that area and then right into the master suite and then currently there is carpet staged on this one um, but you have the option of adding hardwood this current floor plan kind of goes back and forth from a carpet to a hardwood and then walking into the bathroom you got a free floating tub you got a frameless shower with also a little bench can take a nice little seat and then within the bathroom you also have some delta chrome bath faucets cultured marble garden tub and backsplash with marble vanity tops and then you can also get vaulted ceiling treatments and then decorated vanity lighting which everyone kind of likes because it just adds a better effect in the room brings in more lighting to your bathroom when you're getting ready in the morning and then a huge mounted mirror as well that is also another option and then headed to the upstairs. So for this upstairs, there's gonna be a couple different options you can do. So there's gonna be a flex room, and then there's also gonna be what I think would be a good room for like a mother-in-law suite. And that's over to the left side. And then over to the right is kind of the game room area. And you can kind of use this however you would like. And then also to the right, you can kind of appreciate a nice little overlook. Uh, on both sides so not only do you get an overlook on the nook but you also get an overlook on the foyer side i'll show that here in a second and then this is the flex space so you could turn this into a media room with the sliding barn doors that they have kind of set up and then here's your little overlook to the foyer entrance area And then you can also get this little bar nook option, which would be good to have if you don't wanna run downstairs to the kitchen to grab stuff. You can kind of grab things pretty easy up there. Going into the in-law suite. So this is the Elevation D plan. On some of their other plans, they, they don't have this option to where this bedroom kind of extends out with the three windows. This is where the shared bathroom would be. Upstairs, currently right now, they have three bedrooms staged for this, so everyone up there would be sharing this bathroom, which kind of seems like a little bit too much. Personally, I think you kind of need one more bathroom up there. And then here's another little overlook, and then headed back to the back bedroom. So here's the first bedroom with the walk-in closet.
a good amount of space and then even more storage within the hallways over there to the left and then walking into the other bedroom so essentially three bedrooms on the top and then that front bedroom could be an in-law suite it's a little bit bigger And then walking back downstairs that's going to do it for this video if you guys have any other questions text me prairie oaks if you want any more information about sandalin homes text me sandalin homes thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys on the next one peace take it easy y'all Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.